Hi, I'm Kara Kading and I'm your Patricia Breen Consultant at Milliger's and we are very excited today because we just had a Breen shipment from Poland and lo and behold in March we have a beautiful selection of brand new Christmas ornaments that have arrived. So um, back by popular demand we're doing a video and we'll talk about each ornament um, and I will do them in alphabetical order. So uh, we'll start with one of our first arrivals today. This is very exciting. This is our Brillat Sovereign, and this is our chef ornament. Um, this pays tribute to um, an author, and he talked about the importance of enjoying your food and eating what tastes best and what you enjoy. And of course, we certainly enjoy these beautiful gingerbread cookies. They look very tasty and very well detailed. The cupcakes have little gingerbread on top, and then there are the adorable little gingerbread cookies on the side of that plate. And we have a classic gingerbread house on the other plate. Um, and this is adorned with the little peppermints in the bottom and actually on the back here, I don't think you can see it from where you are, but there are little striped uh, peppermint candy canes on the back of the house. So of course, um, very intricate and wonderful attention to detail on this piece. He has a wonderful apron that is adorned with the uh, red crystals and then is finished off in the back where it would tie. Of course, it's lined with these beautiful crystals. And he has on these wonderful red uh, chef shoes. He will also come in a peppermint version and the carrot version with the reindeer, which we have not seen yet. Brimming is um, a very sweet ornament in this uh, trio of snowmen that are glittered and they are tucked inside this Fair Isle style classic mitten. And um, we have a wonderful combination of elements that are used here. First of all, of course, the enamel and then the snowmen are in this uh, beautiful glitter and trimmed and outlined in their coats is this um, haystack litter and then of course we have the crystals embellishments throughout. So uh, very sweet. This is the red and white version. There will also be a green and white and um, some TA versions appearing throughout the year. Dashing through the skies, um, it reminds me a little bit of the uh, one of my favorite ornaments is the Guide Me and um, what I like about this of course we have kicked it up a notch here and Santa is traveling with his lovely wife Mrs. Claus. So they are together on this journey and uh, <laughs> the um, sleigh is filled with presents. Uh, there's a wonderful tree hanging in the back of, of the ornament and uh, the rungs are lined um, in this silver glitter and then the little hearts are at the bottom embellished with the red crystals. So they look like a very sweet couple and they're very happy to be on this trip together. The giving season um, is the Santa holding this bouquet, uh, the um, wonderful holly and the uh, ribbon spirals down in his hand. He's very elegant. Um, and there's this beautiful band of holly in the bottom of his coat um, and then these gorgeous crystals are uh, finish out or trim um, his coat. So there's this gorgeous red enamel along the back and then the holly continues along the back and he is in motion. He has his <laughs> brown boots and he is uh, walking. Glad Hands is an ornament that is a very special treat because we get to see Mrs. Claus. And here she is uh, very happily knitting away. She has her um, she's maybe darning this sock and she has the unique thing is the um, metal that spills over outside of the stocking and onto the ground next to her dress is her little ball of yarn. So she's uh, very happy and um, hard at work always. And this is the red dress version. There will also be a green dress and um, she has a detail on the back of her dress. I love the way that her apron is tied and each piece, each uh, outline of her dress has the well-placed um, red crystals. 
Looking Glass is a very attractive piece um, because of this unique reflector and then um, when it describes that it has the two finials, it's talking about this piece and um, this part of the ornament above and below the reflector. So we have the Red Chinoiserie and the Poinsettia version that arrived today. Uh, the third version is um, a, one of our favorite patterns, the Russian fairy tale in the black version. So we will see that soon. Um, the Red Chinoiserie has these beautiful uh, detailed artwork and the reflector in the center. Um, and the poinsettia version is very unique in the fact that the center is not um, the reflector as we know it. Um, this is like a um, glass that is flush with the ornament and then a poinsettia is painted in the center of it. So um, that was a nice treat and we were um, elated with this piece. Due to the popularity of the reflectors, uh, we had a wonderful uh, shipment of the Majestic reflectors, and the only version that we're missing here is the Holly. But you can see the black version, the red, and the green. And this is truly majestic in the fact that there are eight reflectors on this ornament. So it is four-sided, and each side holds two of the reflectors. So um, you can just imagine the um, brilliance of this ornament on the Christmas tree with the uh, lights on your tree and the reflecting um, in the reflectors it would be quite amazing. And the tops of the ornament are completely studded in the beautiful crystals with the um, coordinating color for the ornament. Mindfully High is a really exciting piece this year. This is one of the multiple elements piece uh, meaning that it is basically two-part and this is Santa in a dirigible or airship and this is the red and white version um, there will also be a black with holly and a black with jeweled stripes so this is our a red and uh, you can see the nice movement um, to the Santa in the um, in the bottom here as he uh, basically swings freely in this ornament. So um, he's in a beautiful red coat uh, with the um, crystals that line this piece um, and down below here in the basket. Nicholas is a very elegant Santa. Um, he proudly stands holding his uh, Christmas tree which is studded with the crystals on the trim of the um, tree and these two versions, we have the black um, Russian fairy tale version um, and then our white, uh, white and red version. Um, there will also be a white Russian fairy tale version which will be in the pastel colors. Um, but this is just a stunning um, ornament and we love the embellishments and the detail that finish off the coat uh, from head to toe all the way down the back. This is. Um, an amazing piece for 2012. Stately Claus um, is an amazing piece for 2012 and this Santa, people love this classic style uh, and silhouette of him but the wonderful thing is this the fact that he is um, carrying this wreath that has tied with this ribbon and the spirals down on either side of the wreath. Um, this is the one with the red quilled trees and um, he's in this white and red version and the trees are laden with the beautiful red crystals um, and then the back of it um, has these little almost like little star bursts of the red crystals that fill the back of his coat so um, he's warm and friendly uh, an amazing piece. We, there will be other versions of this. There will be one with the um, holly trees and the poinsettia trees. And he is uh, definitely lives up to his name. He is a very um, stately clause. And of course we have to have uh, a bee skip for Patricia Breen 2012 and this is called the Stunning Skep. And it is done in this beautiful um, Russian fable fairy tale uh, the black version um, and I have it next to the Nicholas so you can see this beautiful pattern and how the pieces how wonderful they look together um, this is a two-part ornament does have a little bee 
um, up at the top of the ornament and uh, this is a beautiful orange crystals um, and there's a few yellow crystals and uh, the soft green um, but the artwork and the detail is sim simply stunning. Uh, there will also be a white version and that will be in pastel colors so it will be a very nice contrast to this piece. So we hope that you enjoyed our little presentation and you were able to see a closer look of uh, the ornaments and it gives you a better idea and perspective of the new ornaments for 2012 and hope that you are as excited as we are um, to receive Christmas ornaments uh, in March. So visit our website at milligers.com for the most up-to-date information or you can email me for any questions at glittergirl at milligers.com.